So, you bought a Chromebook and it doesn't have Word or Excel. Now what are you supposed to do? Guess you better throw it out. Wait, wait, maybe that's a little hasty. After all, you did shell out some money or somebody else did as a gift. So let's talk about options. I'm Tracy Patterson, tech evangelist with over 30 years of experience in IT. And for the past decade, I've been designing and teaching engaging computer training programs for adults. Over the years, I have had several people, clients, family members, or friends, ask me how to get Word or Excel on their new Chromebook. They wanna create a resume or start an invoice and they've been used to using Word or Excel. But on their new Chromebook, it is nowhere to be found. And my first response is, well, you don't have Word on your Chromebook, but you kinda can. Chromebook laptops are a product of the company called Google. Office applications like Word and Excel are a product of the company called Microsoft. You can't install Microsoft apps on a Chromebook. It's like trying to put a fuel pump from a Benz on a Ford. Same part, different configuration though, different sizes, even a different system of measurement. You could tell I'm from Detroit, right? Any old fuel pump can't work on any old car. So think of applications as a fuel pump and the rest of the car is the operating system that keeps everything connected within the car, the whole car system. Microsoft Office programs have to run on a computer that has the Microsoft Windows operating system. And these programs cannot be installed on a computer with the Google Chrome operating system. Not that any of this is good or bad or right or wrong. Chromebooks are kind of sweet. They start fast, they run fast. Chromebooks are usually actually lightweight, tend to have a longer battery life, and often have a touchscreen. So if that's a computer that works for you, go with it. If many of the things that you are doing are online, not just your email, maybe your accounting system or your payroll or your video editing, if most of it's online, you are in really good shape with a Chromebook anyway. So if you are really, really, really stuck on using Word and you have a Chromebook, here are three ways to live with it. First, return it. If you're within your store's return policy guidelines, just take it back and get a computer that's running Microsoft Windows. Two, use Microsoft 365 online and you're gonna use this through your web browser which is Google Chrome to do this you would open Chrome go to Microsoft.com log in start an account if you don't have one with Microsoft it's for all free and look for the apps on your left like I said they're free to use online and it will mostly look like what you're used to if you're used to Microsoft Office being installed on your computer. Sometimes the formatting is not exactly what you might be used to, like the fonts, but for the most part, if you wanna use Word or Excel or other Microsoft Office apps, using them on 365 online will work for you. Third, work with Google Apps. Google has Google Doc, which is the equivalent of Microsoft Word, Google Sheet, matches to Excel, Google Slide, matches to Microsoft PowerPoint. And if you really need to use Publisher, try Canva, I recommend it. That's a whole different website and that's a whole nother video. While Google Apps don't have all the bells and whistles that Microsoft Office apps have, if you're not using most of those bells and whistles anyway, then this suite of applications will work for you too. They work just as well for lots of common uses, such as making a flyer to making a report with a cover page, table of contents, and footnotes. From a simple budget to a complex financial model or an inventory management. The Google apps are really close 
Not quite the same, but really close. There are less intermediate and advanced features in Google Apps than Microsoft. For instance, uh, page borders. That's not a thing in Google Docs. But there are workarounds. Some of the advanced features that Google has are there, but they're a little more streamlined. Say, track changes. Tracking the changes when multiple people are editing a document, seeing what everybody is doing. There's a lot more features in Word than in Google. But tracking changes in Google, Google's function actually works really well and it's a lot simpler to use. But most of the base features are there from formatting texts, creating different, you know, making them different colors or font sizes, spacing between paragraphs, changing margins, uh, entering formulas, functions. All of these things are the same in Google Apps as you've seen in Microsoft Apps, even though they might be in a different place. For instance, where you find uh, how to change your margins in Google Apps is in a completely different spot than where you would look to do that in Word. So there might be a little bit of a learning curve, but you'll be able to figure out a lot of the tasks and functions between Google Apps and Microsoft Apps. As we go into the future, compatibility may be increasing. Chromebooks are being sold more and more. Google apps are being used more and more. So who's to say how this is going to look going forward? But for right now, I hope I have given you some direction, uh, uh, given you a path of going forward if you weren't sure what to do with this Chromebook that doesn't have Word on it. Do you have a Chromebook? How do you create documents and spreadsheets? I'd love to know. Let me know down in the comments and subscribe to get notifications of more videos with hints and tips and tricks for using Google applications.